Well, my window switches didn't work, so I took the whole thing apart and I was a little shocked at uh, how bad a shape it was in corrosion wise. I'm gonna see if I can clean it up. Okay, we'll use my wife's toothbrush and a little uh, rubbing alcohol here. Isopropyl alcohol probably be the more accurate term to use. Okay, that's uh, about as uh, cleaned up as I think I'm going to get it. Let's see if we can start putting the pieces back together here. I set some little tabs to snap in as we get everything lined up. Whoops, drop that out of there. Maybe we'll go at it this way so we don't lose any of our little rubber cushion pieces. So we'll snap pieces on it. All right, six of them. I don't know that it feels any better. Well, the problem I had before is when you push on the window switch, it wouldn't go down. And but if you push it, push it, push it, push it a bunch, the window would eventually go down. But uh, looks like we uh, got her fixed. And I had uh, no control on the uh, passenger's window, but I have control over there now. I uh, should have filmed taking this thing apart and putting it together, but as you can see, it's just uh, little uh, snap clips that go in, and it'll be the same thing with uh, putting this over top of it, trying to do it one-handed here, but little clips snap in, make sure it snaps into both sides. And they did. So we get that thing to pop back down into place. It's a win-win. Well, some of us just don't know how to leave well enough alone. My hazards haven't worked since I purchased the van. And so today I was messing around trying to find out why I couldn't find anywhere where it listed the fuse or relay that controlled the hazards. And I popped this off, which literally requires taking that screw out and uh, yanking the USB out by the roots, which wasn't my intent. And I get to this relay panel and wow, it looks just as bad as the other one, or I should say circuit board. So I'm gonna see if I can clean it up and have any luck. And it works. <laughs> I'm gonna uh, call that a win. I'm uh, actually surprised it worked with the amount of corrosion and some of the pins uh, did not look real good, but uh, I'll put it back together and let's hope it works. And it works. I'm thinking I won't use that uh, button unless I absolutely have to. Well, thanks for watching the video. I hope that you do not have any of the same problems that I had. Uh, but if you do, maybe, uh, maybe a few tips to help you get yours squared away.